Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamartguru.com. I'm working in Affinity Designer and would like to show you how to use the compound tool to create something like this. Let's start by taking apart the shape. We have a front and a back. If I take the back out, we see that it is pretty much the same shape, rotated and given a different shading. And the base shape is a ball and a shape cut out. So if I take that shape off, we have a ball. We need to create the ball shape and we need to create the cutout shape, which is just a sequence of circles. Let's get started with the ellipse tool. Holding down shift will constrain the proportions so I get a perfect circle and we give it a gradient fill. With the light in the upper left, the top part of the ball should have the lighter color shading down to a darker color. Changing it to a radial fill makes it look more like a ball. I add a few color steps to give it more of a 3D feel. For the cutout shapes, I duplicate the circle, give it a wide outline and modify that. We want it to be thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom. I change it to the outer alignment. That way I get a perfect circle inside and the change stroke won't interfere. I try to keep the spacing of the white lines and the gaps at the bottom even. So I adjust those a little bit. The problem with the compound tool is it does not work with strokes, so I expand the strokes to curves after making a duplicate in case I need to edit something later. I combine the curves via the boolean add to one shape and make a compound with the ball. Initially it will set the two objects to add. I'll change the cutout bit to subtract and move it a little bit, rotate it. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I duplicate the compound object, place it behind, mirror it horizontally and vertically to create the back part of the sphere. I then go in and change the gradient. We want it to be darker than the top, so I add more dark colors at the bottom. I add some transparency at the bottom, duplicate both compounds, color them dark and give the group of these two a Gaussian blur along with a transparent gradient to create the shadow. Lastly, I use an inner bevel to create an additional highlight on the rim of the top shape. And we are done. We created a 3D looking sphere with a nice effect using simple circles and the compound functionality in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you learned something today, hit the like button to celebrate your new bit of knowledge. To help you remember everything you've learned even better, subscribe to the channel. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see in this channel or on the website and I will see you again soon.